thought I'd take a moment to back at the 5E3 build. Now this is a cheap Chinese eBay kit, and there are no instructions. In fact, all it came with was this puny little schematic. And guess what? Those wire colors don't correspond to the secondaries. So, thanks to the label and a voltage test, I have found which wires need to be used and which wires do not. The blue, yellow, and red wire. If you were in another country, you would use those. The brown and black wire. Brown for new. Sorry, brown for hot. Black for neutral, you can see it here, 0 and 110, 0 and 110. We turn it around, we've got the same kind of deal. Green, blue, yellow, black, blue, green. Well, we know we need 340 and 340, so we'll use the two green wires. But then you come down here, and you see there's three green wires. Oh no, well how will we determine? Well, I'll show you a trick. Take a look inside at your transformer. You will see layers. Um, all of the above, everything above this yellow, black, yellow is going to be in another layer of paper. So I, I can't really represent it here, but you can kind of see how there are layers. And you see the white wire that's an, uh, on another layer. And the blue wire is on the above layer. So anything on the above layer is in the green is the 340, right? You can see here these two green wires next to each other, but this one's underneath that piece of paper. This one's above the piece of paper. Not a very scientific way of testing it, but I did test my assumptions by actually plugging um, and do not do this do not attempt to do this it's very very dangerous but i did test the transformer secondaries to ensure the proper voltages so the blue yellow blue right up here those are not necessary again this is that top layer and then we just want the green wires in the top layer and also the black wire for the for the center tab all right, so now we've got still a lot more wires, so what are they? The yellow ones are our 6.3 filament wires, and the green and white are our 5 volt wires. So, and then again, each has a corresponding black wire. So each layer has a corresponding black wire, right? So we'll see that the green, white, and uh, black right here that kind of all go together that's good and then the yellow yellow black here those kind of go together and then the green black green those all go together so again please do not mess with electricity if you are not trained or licensed get a licensed electrician to help you I am not uh, providing any knowledge so that you can do anything. I'm not instructing you to do anything. Messing around with electricity is extremely dangerous. I'm um, just trying to, uh, for entertainment purposes, show you what I've done here. So on that top layer, sandwiched in, we've got the green, black, green. The other ones are not needed, so they will be capped with shrink wrap. And then we've got yellow, black, yellow and black, white, green, and this is for the PW5E3. You can buy these kits for about 300 bucks with shipping, that includes shipping, which beats the $750 uh, price tag or $800 price tag with shipping that I've seen for some of those. Now, that does not come with a speaker or a cabinet, but it comes with everything else. So let's take a look here. We've got the turret board. Uh, wired up well i didn't have any direction so how did i do it because there's plenty of information on the internet so i printed all of the layouts i could find um thanks to rob rob net uh, there's a weber layout and then the fender deluxe layout here so i knew um what values to put and you might also be wondering well steve how did you get the resistor values <laughs> i tested each one of them with a a Harbor Freight 
voltmeter and, and uh, put it on the ohm setting and tested it until I got the corresponding value. Now another cool thing I'd like to show you, if you'll come over here to this other space, is we have actually a website that tells you the resistor values based on the color stripes. So just go into Google and uh, type resistor calculator. Let's see. Resistor uh, color code. Why not? Okay. Here's a four band resistor color code calculator. So if you're having trouble or you just want to check what you're reading on your multimeter, check here. They've got four band, five band, six band. And uh, it shows you exactly what you're selecting because it can be confusing. Sometimes you could flip it the wrong way around. Um, so yeah, this is great. So I don't have any instructions, right? A lot of this uh, I'm researching as I go. I did print out a manual um, that I found online from another kit. It's a PCB kit. It's much different, but it's the 5E3. So a lot of... The assembly instructions are the same and it lays out all the pieces you need and what I really liked about this is some of my um, resistors were not or my capacitors were labeled as 233J and uh, the like instead of microfarad so on this they were labeled in microfarad so this manual was helpful and this was from the Mabel Audio Company uh, but I just found that and printed it and yes, so all is going well um, And when I tested the voltages, I I didn't put the center taps to ground at first So I was getting very odd readings and I actually uh, Wrote to the seller saying that the power transform was bad. So I'm gonna have to write back saying that it's good It is wimpy um, But we are gonna see what it sounds like. I've got this 50, $65 Rocket 50 Celestian speaker, and I'm going to build a cheap cabinet. Not going for looks at all. We're just going to throw it together. Chinese kit. I think the whole project will probably come to somewhere in the $380 range. So, yeah, that's where I am right now. A lot more to do, but we've got the layouts there, uh, we've got the manual. And we've got other resources online, but that power transformer, that was the bear to try to understand out of all these 12 wires, which ones do I need, which ones do I not need. So remember black and brown, that was my 110 for the U.S. Uh, let's see, so green, black, green on that first layer before the other layer of paper right that is my high voltage and center tap or ground wire then i've got my green white green for my 5 volt and my 6.3 volt which is 3.15 volts each on each yellow wire don't let that confuse you it certainly confused me and now we are ready to cap those and install it so all in all all is well i hope that was uh helpful it was what i had looked for all morning and i hope i've condensed it down to a 10 minute video for you um but again i'm not instructing you to do anything uh this is for entertainment purposes only in fact don't do what i do thanks